What you're probably trying to do is make your server compliant with the TSL, TLS protocols. So you'll notice here for me, my website here, the server got a score of a B. So what I'm trying to do is get rid of all of these security warnings. And I have the script that just exactly does that for, for all of the 2008 R2 servers for the 2012 and also for the 2016. So here is my script and let me bring it up and I'll show you what it actually does. It creates all of the proper registry settings. So you'll notice here I have TLS 1.2 enabled, TLS 1.1 enabled, as well as SSL 2.0 and SSL 3.0 disabled. So if I go back here, you'll notice it does test for this particular site and I'll have these links in the description area as well as the script. You could download my script so here, there's this site that actually does the testing. It's called SSL Lab. So if you pop in your site, it'll actually test for this. So my site in particular used to be a B, and after running my script, I have all A's. So that's basically what this script does. And it, in addition to the TLS and SSL, what it'll do is actually strengthen the Diffie-Hillman into a bit, a minimal bit um, of a uh, 24. 2048 decimal. So you'll notice here I also disabled the RC weak ciphers and here I disabled them. So when I run this script, so for example I'm going to double click on this script here and once again I'll have this in the description area that you could download. I'm going to get prompted, I'm going to say OK and I'm going to say OK and here's the keys that it'll create on the registry. So the keys is actually in HKEY local machine, system, current control set, control, security providers, and S channel, and protocols, and then under protocols you'll see a bunch of these. So you'll notice here I have the RC4s, the weak ciphers, the, the weak uh, key lengths disabled. See enable is zero for all of these. Uh, the other thing it does is this Diffie Hellman, Hellman is a minimal bit length of 2048 and you'll notice with the 2.0's that's actually disabled here and with the 3.0's actually also disabled and the TLS is enabled and this also is enabled and the 1.0 is also enabled but at least it gives your cl uh, the client the option of connecting or not so you notice um, my before here is a B and my after is an A and you'll notice if I scroll all the way down so once again you could use this site and again I'll have this these links in the description area of the video for you to download so hopefully uh, that is what my script will do and it'll be helpful for you and once again it works on 2008 R2 Windows 2012 and Windows 2016 and I uh, hope this helped and uh, please subscribe and thank you for watching